hello and welcome back to some more dumb players like their landlord i just call myself dumb ah whatever anyway so we went back into like their landlord and we bested floor nine with the power of stuff now we have floor 10 to work towards looks like we get more duds added every 25 spins but we do get these duds removing themselves as can be suggested here after 33 spins so let's get right into it and see what we can do. I'm going to take a crab off the bat. Love me some crabs, you know, one of my favorite things. And uh, we are going to go get a lockbox too. Uh, I actually don't condone having crabs. Clearly a joke. Right, so let's get... Hmm. Going to take a light bulb early. We, we have a pearl already, so it's just going to give us some extra cash. And I'm going to take the three-sided dice. Three-sided dice is kind of helpful right at the start. We're also going to take this rabbit. Thank you. Lockbox, lockpick even. This is going to help us out in the long run. Uh, we'll take the piece of ore. Because I'm pretty sure light bulbs can do stuff with it, right? Am I wrong? I'm wrong. It can do it with, when, when the ore is actually mined. Yes. Genius. And we'll take a, a dwarf. Dwarf's ore is kind of nice to have just because... I think I can risk the essence capsule here. There we go, look, perfect. Uh, we'll take a miner because we have ore. We'll get free things. Light bulb will do things. We also get a super early essence. Um, Wow, these are really good. Uh, the golden carrot essence. We'll get a very rare. Let's just go super early on and get a very rare. We can also probably pop a hexatedium in here and then grab... What is this? Any time a symbol is added, wow. We'll take the lemon for now. Do have a lot of empties, and uh, I want to be just trying to make generating some money. Let's take another lock box. It will open itself up eventually with a lock pick, and we have this golden carrot counting down right now, which is beautiful stuff. So I don't want to dwarf, don't want a banana, don't want a snail. We can hold off for now. We are still making pretty decent money and i don't want to fill up the board too much we are on floor 10 it is slightly difficult do we have anything that's destroyed itself yes we do free things don't mind if i do give me that stuff all right so we are now oh another time capsule i'm gonna grab this too compost heap okay we'll take the compost heap what very rare do we get though an eldritch creature Okay, that destroys things. That sounds kind of cool. Right, so Eldritch Creature means that if we have... I mean, anything that we get destroyed, like hexes and stuff, he's going to get some more money. We also have the compost heap that means stuff that gets broken down is going to turn into seeds. So, have I doomed myself with this compost heap to just completely and utterly drown my board? I also got this little Hexy of Midas because, you know, he's going to give us some extra money. Let's see what essences we get this time around. When you pay rent, I get to choose one of these to add. It destroys itself after something is destroyed, and this happens three times. Amazing. Uh, destroys itself after 10 coins are removed. Removes all coins before each spin gives 10 whenever they're removed. Dang, gives 30 when at least three symbols are the same and not empty. Right. Or we can make dwarves um, when it when it drinks beer. Yeah, let's just take the dwarven anvil. And we'll go for more very rares. Okay. And what we're going to do here is grab ourselves a lunchbox. Open that lunchbox up. Void fruit is free stuff, so that's going to get destroyed. We have a cat, so milk is fine. Chemical 7 will get destroyed too. So plenty more fuel for the compost heap. And we just have a lot of things ticking down. I'm just going to grab a seed. You know, why not add to it? I love how the hex literally got destroyed and turned into money. Unless that's technically what it does now. No, it doesn't. Amazing. So we definitely need something that kind of consumes fruit. We now have the three times capsule machine brilliance. And yeah, we have a miner that I really don't even want to give ore now. Because we don't even have any more empties. We kind of just... We're not there. Another crab. I'll give a crab a crab. Give the crab to some crabs, just because. 
yet again. Nothing. I think I just clicked that rabbit by accident. Ah, whatever. I was going to say, nothing really appeals here. We're going to have two of our duds go away very shortly. We're still making okay money. And we have some hexes that we can pick up. I don't need to destroy Goldilocks for things. I'll pick the jack-o'-lantern. And a silver arrow. No. Why did I re-roll? I actually don't know. We are very close to the booster pack now. Um, do we have any banana pills? We do not. So right now, we have spent a lot of this game just skipping. And I think it's okay. We can take the monkey because if fruit grows into coconuts like this, we can at least eat those. Oranges and stuff, not so much. All right, one of our duds has destroyed itself. Beautiful stuff. We now have the essence coming in with the booster pack, right? Where it's just like all the items. So let's pick another hex. Aha, but pirate. Beautiful. All right, let's take the pirate. Coal is not going to help me. I am just going to skip this one. So we have a pirate now. He's going to help by eating oranges. Now, it's not perfect, but it's definitely something that's much better than what we've got. What would be brilliant now is getting an item capsule and getting ourselves a watering can. A watering can. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Destroy the cell after five symbols are added after a spin. You add an extra symbol after every spin. I wanted this. Yes, we're getting the watering can anyway. Swapping device. No. And then we want void portal. I don't really want the sun. And I don't really want the dame. So we can skip all that. And then giving ourselves a cardboard box is going to give us some removal. Which is brilliant. Okay, so we got this Hex of Minus. He's going to give us some coins every now and then, which is absolutely amazing. Because it's just going to make the pirate stronger. I don't need another monkey. But what we can start doing is removing things. Um, just looking at my money, I just want to make sure that we're okay. So what we can do now is get rid of the flower. And we can get rid of the shiny pebble. Good job, rabbit. You're making some extra cash. You will, you will eventually get murdered, but it's okay for now. And we are just kind of filling up the screen with just all sorts of goodies. We're going to be having every single one of our hexes removed by this. Ooh, I'm going to do it. I have no idea what I hit with the Midas Bomb. I think I just took out the Eldritch creature. I'm very sorry. <laughs> what did I destroy? Yeah, I took out the Eldritch creature. I think I hit a dud too. Um and the dwarf nothing too nothing too bad there but hey getting rid of the eldritch creature meant that we now no longer have the ability to remove hexes which is a little bit sad but hey maybe we'll get another one in a bit treasure chest is perfect barrel of dwarfs is not going to help me lefty the rabbit's not going to help me at all either take ricky the banana i guess we'll just make some more cash Yet again, still making tons of extra removal. None of these are good for me. We just want the compost heap to continuously be making us more money. Voidstone is perfect for that. And we'll get rid of the pearl. Coin is necessary for what we want to do. And I guess now we'll get rid of the sapphire too. We're trying to give ourselves plenty of empty space. I don't need this cat, do I? No. <laughs> just confirming. But yeah, we've got plenty of coconuts. This one monkey is going to be a very, very happy boy. And then we've got seeds. Anytime a seed grows, we are making pretty decent money. Uh, nothing here, thank you. And we are doing pretty dang well. Every time it gets destroyed, you know, more cash. Is the... Am I actually making 25 per seed? Or is did this happen just once? I am, I might just be confusing things. Yeah. But so far, so good. All right. We're doing lovely. I have no qualms with how everything is going right now. Telescope. All things are considered adjacent. Destroys itself if there are at least six thingies. When there are at least six of these thingies. 
Um, they give two more effect. That's really nice. Let's make all symbols adjacent. And then looting love, no. Cleaning rag, no. We'll take recycling. Bartender, no. Beehive, no. None of this is good for us. Looting glove is... To be fair, looting glove was okay. We could have done that either way because of how... How the um, the pirate works. He could have been, you know, breaking some stuff. Oranges are perfect. Look at that. He's just using the power of adjacency. I'm going to re-roll a couple of times because I have been given those free re-rolls. It is unfortunate that I got nothing from them. But hey, look how many peaches we have. I was about to click that peach and it would have been pointless for me. Being completely overrun by the peaches. But we're still, we're still in there. This could be a floor 10 complete. Take a reroll capsule, thank you very much. Monkey, if you could do me a, a fine job of like actually eating the rest of these coconut halves, that'd be great. Got another orange, beautiful stuff. I don't want to pick cherries. Oh my god, there's so many peaches. Hmm. We can take the farm here, I reckon. Eh, pizza the cat. If we're going to be stuck with all these peaches for now, because Miss Fruit doesn't want to show her face, or Mrs. Fruit even, sorry. Um, then yeah, we might as well try and make a little bit more money. Take, we can take a coin there for the pirate. We can try and make a little bit more money with this guy. Still. Kind of plodding along pretty well. Buffing capsule is definitely going to help us out. If it wasn't in the corner, sure. These rabbits are still kind of paying out too. So I have no problem keeping them on my map. Beautiful stuff. We now have this guy up to 19. Uh, tedium capsule, maybe? Might give us a second. It's going to destroy itself. It's going to push us towards an extra compost heap. Seed. Mega chest is beautiful. As we have the looting love, the pirate. He's going to eat all of these things. Or the lockpick's going to work too. It doesn't really matter which way. As long as it opens, we're doing good. More essences for me. We're not going to have the lemon. We can have the treasure map and we can get, you know, we'd win the game first, I reckon, which is fine. Uh, whenever symbols are destroyed in the same spin. So we'd instantly get two watermelons from this one, is what we're saying. This is really cool. But let's take just the compost heap for now. And then re-roll a couple times. Get ourselves a King Midas. Green pepper. And then we'll go again. So we should be guaranteeing ourselves a pretty decent amount of money on the screen. We can actually go here and remove the two crabs because we don't need them anymore. Sorry, crabs. We can also actually get rid of this coin. Coin? This is a dice dump. And here we have the compost heaps gone already. Let's get rid of the dice. Get rid of the miner. And now we have a pretty... Another pirate, wow. We have a... <laughs> I was going to say a really pretty board. Plenty of things that we can mess around with. Plenty of things that we can use. Hustling capsule for a pool ball sounds good to me. I, I really can't complain. This looks like a, an easy peasy floor 10 to me. Compost heap always coming through, being very beautiful and wonderful in every single way. And us just continuously making things. Void creature, sure thing. A bit sad that we didn't get blessed with Miss Fruit, but we are kind of just rushing through the floors, as so to speak. So we can get to the end floor and see what kind of hellhole that is. I'd be happy to take challenges, try and do all these quirky builds and everything else. And we are now at our final spot to um, try and get that last thing. Pear, which, no. I mean, we can get the pear just because, why not? Grab the lunchbox because, okay. Get a coconut half, get a chemical seven. Get nothing. 
and then you know just kind of float on by making so much extra money from just all of the adjacency powers that we have i mean technically i should probably get rid of the rabbits you know sorry rabbits you did your jobs but we, we just want fruit where is my one monkey <laughs> the, the, the fattest monkey of all just eating every coconut when he ever actually decides to exist and do it another chemical seven for me don't mind if i do beautiful all right Another lucky capsule. Could I, in fact, get Miss Fruit before the end of this game? The answer is no. We can just be overrun by peaches. That is that is how we that is how we die in this game. Just way too many peaches. Look at that. Good job, monkey. Filling up the screen with all them seeds. So we've done it. We have got to the endless mode. See what we get as some of the essences. Yet again, another telescope. Ooh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Destroys itself before or 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 would be destroyed when. Okay, okay. So let's grab the cardboard box. Treasure chest. All right. <laughs> it's my intention now to just. Destroy so many things and grow so many seeds with this powerful telescope essence. Um, <laughs> to uh, to just overrun the place with peaches. Grow, my beautiful peaches. Grow. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I'm just going to pick this peach just for the trolls now. Could it be? Could we get the full screen of peaches before we lose? That is the question. If I see a Mrs. Fruit at any point in time, that's the end of the game. I give up. Um, but it'll still be really funny to me. Um, look at this man go. I thought farmers made seeds grow quicker. Am I wrong? Ah, 50% more chance to grow. Look at this monkey do it. He's amazing. Reroll capsule for me. We're getting there. We have plenty of peaches right now. We are being attacked by the butt fruit in multiple ways. There is Mrs. Fruit. So that is the game over. I'm going to... Oh, we, we also got the fertilizer, which is a terrible thing. We also got fruit basket. This is like a the run is ready to be insane. But I am now preparing to allow her to destroy everything. So we can end and get ready for the next floor. Floor 11. We also just have the uh, this treasure map about to pop too. Mrs. Fruit's so shy. She hasn't even popped up on the screen yet. It's been two spins. She's like, no, I don't want to. Three spins. Okay, she's just not going to show up. We're, we're actually going to get the, uh, the full screen of peaches first. Ah, there she is. Look at her go. She's insane. That was uh, zero to eight in the first step. And now she's up to 11 already. I'm going to give her a few more um, just because it's really funny to watch her get like in the correct corner or whatever and like hit a nice spot. Why do I have a key? Oh, of course I have a key. I have a key because of my treasure map. This looks fine to me. Let's get rid of this hex of Midas and let's reroll. Got two of our pirates up. Pretty decent cash. I think um, I'm ready to call it quits, however. Mrs. Fruit, if you don't mind. There, that's what I was looking for. If only we had a watering can, this would have been absolutely beautiful. We are going to make it, but just. It's surprising that, to be fair. I thought we'd be doing better, but I think we've now hit the point that we'd start having the insane trajectory. I'm going to take this watering can because I want to see how much money I could technically get out of it. And then um, we'll take that. And then we have another Mrs. Fruit. And then we have, uh, we'll take the brown pepper. So if any of these seeds, oh, look at that. Whoa. And a Midas bomb, why not? 
all of these seeds just giving an absolute fortune just before they are ready to explode. Do, have I lost the... Yeah, I have. Cool. And the Midas bomb hit the Midas, hit the watermelons. Everything got destroyed, even more seeds. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Let's see how much money I get from the, the Midas. Good old Midas, giving me some extra cash. We definitely will be all right to get to this uh, 2000 spin. But I don't want to see it. I want to get ready for the next sets of essences. I want to look at all the new things that are coming in. And I hope that you will enjoy and um, be looking forward to that too. So, let us just swippy swap over to the screen. Have a little look at everything that I've got. We went through, destroyed many items. We got a couple of the same essences, which was kind of cool to see. It's nice to see you can get multiple of the same essences after they've been destroyed. And then we've gone through all these symbols. We hit 19 coconuts, 19 peaches, 50 coins. And that's it, 217 in that quick, easy win. Right, so that's it. We are now done fully. We can then jump out of here, skip this, and then go to the to main menu. Thank you so much. And we have floor 11 set up. So, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Let me know what you want to be seeing. Let me know that all the different types of uh, builds you think that we could make. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Once again, thank you to my patrons, Bubbles and Mr. Hop. Your ongoing support is awesome, as well as all the support you guys have been giving me around the channel. Thank you so much. Right. Let's go to floor 11. Yeah? Bye for now.